Good afternoon. Sacred space is a physical location where you're able to experience God's presence. And it's taken me a while to recognize the importance of sacred space. After all, I believe that God is not confined to any one location. You can find him anywhere. And even, or maybe especially in the most unlikely places, people in distress have felt God's hand. In a prison cell, in a hospital bed, in a concentration camp. I mean, God fills all of his creation. You can find him anywhere and everywhere. So why would one space be more sacred than any other? It's common for us pastors to dismiss people's desire to sit every Sunday in the same seat at the church. Mix it up a bit, we say. Don't get stuck in a rut. Try something different. What's even worse, though, is if a guest or someone new to our church happens to sit in your seat without realizing it's your seat, and then you ask them to move. But even if you know better than to be that rude, and you go sit somewhere different, you feel out of sorts. Worship just isn't the same. Now, back in the 1800s, you could literally tell someone, this is my seat, because each year, people paid for the privilege of having a particular seat in the church where they sat. I imagine, by the way, that the seats in the back of the church were the more expensive ones. I've come to know better than this. I've come to recognize the importance of sacred space, both through my own experience and what other people have told me. For some people, that seat in the church connects them to loved ones who have died. And the memory of sitting beside them in that pew during worship helps them at times feel the closest to their loved one. Now, as a pastor, I, of course, don't sit in the pews during worship, but often, especially in the winter, I'll spend time throughout the week in prayer in our church sanctuary. And I felt myself gravitate to one particular spot where I sit. And I realized that my prayer time would not be the same if I sat somewhere different. Sacred spaces are not limited to seats in the church. Many people have a particular location where they go in order to be with God. One man has told me about a tree in a park. Other people have told me about camps or conference centers. For me, it's a patch of woods beside a creek in the back corner of a cornfield. The Celts of Ireland and Scotland call these spots thin places, where the spiritual and the physical worlds intersect. They are thin places because the barrier between heaven and earth is thin or even disappears. For the Jewish people, the temple in Jerusalem was the sacred space of all of the world until it was destroyed in the year 70. King Solomon, when he built the first temple, prayed to the Lord, I have built a magnificent temple for you, a place for you to dwell forever. For the Jewish people, the temple was the location where you could literally be in the presence of God. They called the temple the navel or the belly button of the world because that's where God was and his presence went out from the temple to everywhere else. What makes all of these places special or sacred is not something inherent to that location. It is not as though God is more real in one seat in a church or one place in a house or outdoors. What makes these spaces sacred is that God has chosen that spot to be for that particular individual, the place where they can sense him the best. Or, like my seat in the sanctuary, it is a place where over time seeking and experiencing God has infused that spot with spiritual significance. Now this seems to be at odds with Jesus' words when he said, God is spirit, and his worshipers must worship in the spirit and in truth. I mean, if God is spirit and we worship in spirit, then therefore our physical location should be irrelevant. 
And that is true. We worship God in spirit. But that's only part of the story. God is pure spirit, but we are not. Humanity is unique among all of God's creatures because we have both a spiritual and a physical part of who we are. Angels are only spirit. Animals are only physical. We are both. So in a sense, each human being is a thin spot. It is a place where the spiritual world and the physical world intersect. Each person, as Paul told the Corinthians, is a temple. Paul said, your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you. I was wrong. Feeling closer to God in a particular place, your seat in a church or wherever else, feeling closer to God in that spot is a good thing because your physical presence in that spot enables your spiritual self to find God more easily. So I encourage you to find or to create a sacred space of your own. It can be anywhere, but it is a place where you can go, where for you, your body being in that place can help your spirit encounter God. Would you pray with me, please? Lord God, we thank you for those times and those places where we encounter your presence the most. Thank you, Lord, for enabling our physical bodies to help our spiritual beings recognize who you are. Help us, Lord, discover those sacred spaces for each of us so that as we seek you, we will be more easily able to find you. And we pray all of this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Thanks for joining me. We'll talk again later.